Washington's going to be over the cap. We need to get somebody with some cap room. Buffalo has some cap room, and they know they have some good offensive players on this team. Tyler Ennis. Tyler Ennis. Like I said, they got some good offensive players on this team. Uh, Gergensen's. Uh, Conacher, Ennis, Stewart, Carrier, Felino. Tyler Ennis wouldn't be bad. Same thing with uh, Corey Conacher. Like I said, Ennis. Ennis is a, to classify as a third line scorer, but he can. I know Tyler Ennis can put some goals in as a center playmaker. Even though he's a, he, they haven't classified as a center playmaker, but I really don't consider Ennis a playmaker. I consider him a sniper. I still do. They probably consider Conacher. No, they consider Conacher a playmaker as well. He's 23. He's got some good stats as well. Four gold stars. Don't know if Conacher will get any better. I've seen Ennis get better. Um, let me see. Overall wise, Stewart, Stafford. No, Stafford's not going to get any better. Hodgson, Cody Hodgson. Maybe we can package something in a deal for Cody Hodgson. He's a playmaker. He's got some offensive stats in him. He's got four green stars, so Hodgson will probably be getting better. Uh, he's decent defensively. I like Hodgson just because he has four green stars. I don't know how good Hodgson will get. Uh, we could just take the safe route and go with Tyler Ennis. One year left. Hodgson has six years left at 4.2. That's actually not a bad deal for uh, Hodgson. If he, turn, if he turns out to be a good player, then it's a pretty good deal. But if not, then it's a it's a pretty shitty deal in our hand. But I think it's a good trade. It's an even salary swap, and you're getting a better player in Hodgson rather than Umber. So we'll try this out. And he's fairly young. He's 23. So he he's, has a lot more time to get better in him. So we do have to add some more into this deal. Uh, we can add in... Can they take... Can they take... Um, can they take... Uh, can they take... Can they take... Can they take Tootin? Uh, Buffalo cannot take Tootin. Why? They under cap? No, they have enough cap. It's probably just players. Uh, okay, so we need to add something in here. Something lower than Tootin. Uh, okay, it can just be a minor league player, uh, AHL player, so that's good. Uh, okay, so we can take, uh, ooh, my injuries are on. I gotta take, I'm gonna make sure I remove injuries. So we can, we'll take Matt Ellis from them. Um, Tootin, and, uh, we can just add some of these no-name guys in there, like Quenville, this Anderson guy. I don't think he's anything too special. No, he's not. Uh, but they can't take it because they're gonna be over cap because he's already signed. Um, Let me see uh, any unsigny guys that we have that they can take. Okay, yeah, but we need to add something on here. Draft picks. Uh, we already gave up LA second. We give up our... Th I really don't want to give up a third. We have a lot of thirds for next year. I'll give up Philly. I can probably give up Philly's third for next year. And Buffalo, I know, has got some good draft picks. Yeah, but they're they're way too highly rated. We can maybe take a second. We can maybe take the Wilds second from this for this year. Cause I don't think I don't know how good of a team Minnesota is going to be. Um, yeah, we'll try this. If this if this doesn't go through, then we'll take off the um we'll take off the second and we'll just deal with uh we'll just deal with uh Cody Hodge. And so let's see if this goes through. So RJ Umberger, Feder Tutin, Quenville and a third and Philadelphia's third for Cody Hodgson and a second round pick. Will this go through? Uh isn't sufficient. Okay, we'll just take off the second then. That's probably just uh pulling it there. We don't need the third, we'll take that off. So let's just try this out. Umberger and Tutin for Hodgson. Will this go through? No, okay, maybe we do need to add the third on there. All right, will that go through? No, it's. I think it's a too far off. Okay, how about LA's third as well? So that will go through. Uh, just a bit low. We'll probably need to upgrade it to... Uh, I can probably get back the second for next year. We're going to draft good in the first in the uh, first round of uh, this year anyway. So I'll try to get some draft picks back for most of those players anyway. So we'll try to do this. So Umberger and Tootin and a second for Cody Hodgson. It's a little bit much for Hodgson, but I'm, I'm 
bank in on Cody Hodgson becoming a good player. I'm really, I really am hoping that he gets a good player. Four gold stars for Cody Hodgson. Let's see if this goes through. There you go. We believe this transaction will contribute to our success. Okay, so good trade there. We now get uh, Cody Hodgson. Columbus just dishing away all our draft picks. That's fine. We're keeping our draft picks for this year, though, so that's good. We're going to try to get some draft picks back. So now we pick up Cody Hodgson, which is a pretty good pickup in my opinion. All right. Um, okay, so now defensive-wise, we still have Murray. We have – okay, so we have Schultz, Johnson, Wisniewski, Nikitin, Murray, Erickson and Savard. So that's our top six for right now. Savard could come in and take uh, somebody's place. But let me see if we can maybe make a trade with somebody. Maybe we can get rid of Nick Schultz and maybe bring in a better kind of defensive defenseman. So let's see about Nick Schultz. Let's see if any team is interested in Nick Schultz. Detroit is. And we'll see about what players here. Like I said, it's just basically a fire sale now, right now for the Columbus Blue Jackets. All right, let's see. Basically doing a fire sale. Anthony Mantha, Tatar, Ule, Yurko, Kindle, Gustav Nyquist. Nyquist might not be bad, but I want to get a defensive player in here. So let's look for defensemen. All right. Uh, Kindle. Jakob Kindle. Nah, he's already 26. Nah, I don't think so. Not for Jakob Kindle. Do they have a young defenseman? I think they do. Yeah, they have, uh, they have Danny DeKaiser. Danny DeKaiser, who's three and a half gold stars, offensive defenseman, could become something special. Um, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. They also have Sproul. Like I said, Schultz has a good trade value, good uh, trade on him. A lot of trade value. The LA Kings want him. Let's see about defenseman for LA. Jake Muzzin. Jake Muzzin's already 24. Braden McNabb. Brady McNabb's a two-way defenseman, 22. Alec Martinez, Dowdy, no way we're getting Dowdy. Voinov's... Could we maybe get Voinov? Could we maybe get Slava Voinov in exchange for Nick, uh, Nick Schultz? Valley's not too far off. Maybe we throw in maybe we throw in Wisniewski as well. Maybe we can get it done. Give them two defensemen. Like they want Wisniewski as well, then yeah, they're not gonna have enough salary cap. Okay. Um I might trade maybe I could just trade one of these guys for a pick. Like Nick Schultz for a uh a draft pick. Let's see what teams have a low first round pick. Okay. LA does not have a high first round pick, so we can maybe get a draft pick from LA. Minnesota, no. Uh, the Montreal Canadiens don't. Nashville doesn't. Nashville does. The Islanders don't have one. Um, the Rangers don't. Yeah, we can maybe trade Nick Schultz away for a first-round pick. Probably could have gave away a, a Tootin for a first-round pick. Instead, we packaged him in Buffalo for Hodgson, which isn't bad, but might have given up a little bit there. Wisniewski we can probably get for a first. Yeah, why don't we try that? Why don't we try to like give away Wisniewski to somebody for a first round pick? Somebody that has salary cap room as well. Uh Calgary does. Do you guys have a first round pick you're willing to give away? Uh Calgary is highly valuing their first round pick. The Hurricanes. Chicago is, but they don't have salary. Colorado does, Dallas doesn't. Detroit doesn't. Nope. Florida definitely keeping their picks. L.A. has room, doesn't have room. Minnesota doesn't. Montreal doesn't. Nashville does, but they're valuing it. Uh, is, is it close? Oh, we would need a player back. Uh, it's not really too close there. Jersey. Whoops, hold on. Uh, oh, whoops, I'm retaining salary. Whoops, uh, it's that. There we go. Uh, the Islanders aren't, but they have a lot of picks this year. Like I said, they have Montreal's. They have their own second. They have tons of like late-round picks this year. The Rangers. Uh, team. There's no teams with enough salary. We might have to simulate a couple days again. Yeah, we're going to simulate a couple more days here, see if se some teams can uh, get some salary cap going. All right, I'll simulate a couple more days here before the uh, start of the thing. Yep, I know my GM rep was dropped. That's whatever. 
Yeah, continue. Go ahead. And uh, stop simulation. We'll go up another day here. Waivers. Yes, I know about waivers. All right, we'll go up to the 30th. If we go up to the beginning of the month now, we'll check out teams. All right, trade negotiations. There we go. Now we'll see about some teams that might have some more room here. All right, so we want Wisniewski. Yeah, now now some teams have some uh, trade, have some salary cap. Uh, Florida, like I said, Florida has a ton. Uh, Nashville does. Like I said, but we need to give up a player there. Jersey does. Islanders don't. I think it's the exact same thing, basically. Yeah, it's kind of the exact same thing. All right, let's go to Philadelphia because I know their prospects. Let's see if was, we can give away Wisniewski for something. Get a good uh, offensive prospect or a defensive prospect. I know Philly's gotten some, getting some good defensive prospects in here. So let's see what we got. Shen, Robert Hag. I'm kind of interested to see the way this guy might plan out to be. He's he's really low, so I can probably trade something. I'll probably get some uh like some nobody names for him. So I wouldn't be against that. So Robert Hag, I can maybe make a trade for Robert Hag. Uh, super Swede. I'll I'll keep that in the back of my mind though. Other than that, they have shit off our defensive prospects. Um, Tampa Bay. Keith Ollie, Kukuk. Nesterov. Who's these guys? They have these weird-ass Russian names, man. Nikita Nesterov. I don't even, I don't even know. Suster. Um, like I said, these teams are difficult because there's there's so much salary. There's so much salary. Buffalo can take it on, but we need somebody back with a lot of uh, salary, uh, good trade value as well. Ristolainen? Rasmus Ristolainen could we take back? Four gold stars for him, another good defensive prospect to use. Pissick, Christian Erhoff, now he's way too old. Tootin, now like I said, we already traded them, them uh, Tootin. Um... Draft picks, like I said, they're highly valuing their draft picks. They're not valuing St. Louis's draft pick for next year, but I kind of want to get draft picks for this year. And uh, L.A. was another team which I might go after a draft pick for. Um, let's see. It's going to be a long episode, this one. Uh, let's see. Was Newski for... I want to get some... I don't think Buffalo has any really like young defensemen other than Myers, who signed for 5.5 .5 at six, and he's got red star potential. He's good offensively. I like Tyler Myers. Good defensively, fast. He's got skating five stars. Uh, they have Zadorov. I said they have some good prospects. I'm not gonna lie. Talinder, no Klesla. Weber, no. Carolina, what do you guys have? You're not that far under the salary cap. Pickinen, Sakara, Murphy, Falk, John Michael Lyles, Schmiz. Can we maybe get a draft pick? Uh, no. See, Wisniewski's, Wisniewski's is just a little bit too under the, the, uh, the pick, like the pick wise. Schultz, we have a better chance of getting a first round pick for. Like, Detroit's is insanely low. Like, what's Detroit's uh, salary at? 3.6, 3.1. Uh, Let me see. So, if we, if we want uh, Detroit's first, we can maybe give up. I want to get some draft picks in here. Somebody with not a lot of salary that we can trade fairly easily. Um, like I said, we, I want to get with Wisniewski, but that salary is just way too much. <sighs> He's going to be a tough cookie to trade. Same thing with Nikitin. A lot of these guys just have way too big salary caps that are just going to be not workable. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, interesting to see here. 
We could give up Mutre for a first. We could probably get like a couple firsts back. Like this Mutre guy, we could definitely get a good first round pick back for somebody. But we'll probably hold off on some of those guys before that. But we might just have to keep hold of some of these guys and then maybe wait till uh, trade deadline. You know what? That might actually not be a, a terrible idea to hold on to some of these players. Wait till the trade deadline to give them away. Because we'll probably be a shit team by then. Then we could start picking up some uh, first, uh, start picking up some draft picks for the guys like Schultz, and uh, and uh, Wisniewski and some and some prospects and stuff like that. Their trade values might go down, yeah. But then again, that also could go up because they'll be highly, uh, they'll be highly uh, free. They'll be um, players that teams will be looking for, like free agent wise. Like I think Schultz will definitely be because he has one year left at three point five. He will be a player that maybe a lot of teams might want to look out for to come trade deadline time. But I don't know about Wisniewski because he's got 5.5 for another four years. So he might be uh, continuing to drop in trade value. And we might have to just wait for a team with some salary to make a trade with them. So I think that might be good. We'll, we'll leave it there for right now. right now. We made a couple moves. And uh, I think we'll probably just get started with our simulation in the next episode. Let's just take a look at our lineups, what it looks like right now, the edit lines. Uh, let me go to roster moves first. Let's go to roster moves. And uh, let's make the moves that we want. So Ellis, uh, yeah, he can go through waivers. I don't really care. I doubt the team will claim him anyway. Um, all right, so we know we want Dana Terrell up here. Dalton Prout, yeah, we can send down Prout. We can send down Trop. Uh, okay, so how many players do we have up here right now? Forwards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so we have 13 guys, so we don't need Bull. Bull can go through waivers, I don't really care about that all that much. And uh, I doubt anybody claimed any of those guys no nobody claimed trap nobody claimed bowl okay so that's that's good they cleared waivers and so we have horton dubinsky johansson and isimov felino Hodgson, como kostensnov jenner fratton calvert and dana terrell for forward wise defenseman we have schultz johnson wisniewski nikitin murray and savard we're gonna call we're gonna move savard down actually we're gonna move erickson up Call Savard down, and I think that's it. Goaltenders, Bobrovsky, McElhaney, and then Smith and uh, Dansk. We have to make sure we sign uh, Oscar Dansk. So we'll do that so we can get him playing. And uh, we'll just do best lines for right now. Let's go make sure we sign those free agents first. I might actually break this up into two episodes. So if you're watching this, welcome to part two. Um, <laughs> Alright, so let's go to contracts. I think I gave away some of my AHL players, so I think I have room now. Alright, so Mutre, let's get him signed. Okay, so we got Mutre in there, and then goaltenders. Let's get Dance signed. Uh, okay, we need to get rid of we need to get rid of some goalies then. Need to get rid of some goalies. We can just trade away two of those like shit nobody goalies for like some picks or something like that we can give away Forsberg and uh, give away uh, McKenna McKinnon or whatever so we can give away McKinnon and uh, Forsberg to get a pick of some sort draft pick maybe could maybe get a second for these guys I don't think so Boston not value Boston not valuing their first very much. Second from Buffalo not gonna work. It's probably like way too many, way too many uh, roster spots. We'll just take off the one goalie. We can maybe get him uh, go as well. So we'll take off McKinnon. See for somebody that wants to grab up Forsberg. Allshuler isn't he supposed to be a good prospect? Oh, he's he's all right. Could we maybe make a trade for that? Allshuler for uh, Forsberg. That might go through. <laughs> maybe we can maybe steal off somebody really good. Maybe a better backup wouldn't be bad. Maybe we can trade. Uh, McElhaney's not the greatest backup though. That's what I'm saying. Like maybe we can maybe trade for like. I might I might just go after somebody in free agency. I I think I have enough cap room. 
Uh, like a third round pick from Carolina. No, that's not going to go through. Somebody has to have some cap room. Chicago, no. Colorado, no. Well, it's not cap room, it's roster spots for a goalie. Edmonton, no. Florida. Florida has room. Okay, would you guys take a second for Forsberg? How about a fourth? Okay, how about a useless fifth? There you go. Okay, so useless fifth. Now we can go sign Dansk. Uh, yep, now we can sign Dansk. And there we go. So now we have Oscar Dansk signed on the team. I think he got put in the juniors, did he not? Uh, where is he? Oh, he's on the uh, NHL team, so we'll have to uh, send him down. Do, uh, da, 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 da. Edit lines. Roster moves. And Dansk, we can send back down. Is now eligible to play Myers. Okay, yeah, we can send him to a major junior. That's perfectly fine. It's better that he does that anyway. He could have a good year in the juniors and then just do amazing. All right, so next episode, I think we're going to just, like I said, do best lines for right now. So we have Dubinsky, Johansson, and Horton, Felino, Hodgson, and uh, Kustensov. Como, Anisimov, and Fratton. I don't like that at all. I'll probably move Anisimov off. I'll play Kostitsnov down here. Uh, somebody will have to take face offs. Probably Jenner. Uh, Jenner, Como, Jenner, Fratton, and Kostetsov. Maybe Como up there. Fratton. I think Fratton's a third liner, is he not? Fratton's probably a third liner, so I'll probably put him up there. Instead of Como, Como can continue to get worse. And then Calvert, Como, and Terrell. Like I said, Como has good face-offs, right? Yep, Terrell has good face-offs, so we'll put him there. Como's a left winger, so we'll switch him up with Calvert. That way we have a center on every single line, and uh, yeah, I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. Like I said, we'll give Coach Stensnov a chance to play on the big team. Uh, defense, Schultz, Johnson, Nikitin, Wisniewski, Murray, and Erickson, and then goaltenders, uh, Bobrovsky and McElhaney. So I think next time we'll take it, uh, we'll start the simulation. I will edit our trade block around. I'll go into free agency, maybe if I can sign a better backup than McElhinney, just to make our record look a little bit good. I'm not trying to shit the bed. I'm just trying to make sure that our players play fairly well through the season. Who knows? Maybe I've seen stranger shit happen than uh, this team just go like on an amazing absolute tear, but I doubt that'll happen. But, uh, yeah, thanks for sticking with us for this uh, probably two-part episode back with the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets. So if you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, subscribe as always, guys. And uh, we'll, take, we'll begin starting the season in the next episode.